Today, it's a great thrill that I announce iOS 7. I remember when iOS 7 first launched. Overnight, iPhones went from this realistic, reflective, warm design to this sharp, clean, angular look, unlike anything Apple users had come to expect. And it worked very, very well. Graphic design had never looked so clean and minimalist. And brands took notice, perhaps inspired by Apple, which had always been a trendsetter, companies across the world went to work on redesigning their logos in the mid-2010s, to the point where it often became meaningless. It's important to remember what designs looked like throughout the 2000s and early 2010s. What was really popular at the time was a design principle called skeuomorphism, where designs attempted to replicate real-world lighting effects and designs. By the time iOS 7 was released, things had begun to change. Companies began to aggressively use sans-serif fonts, those are the clean ones you see without the tails. Instagram in 2016 removed the realistic camera from its app icon and replaced it with a more abstract design. Taco Bell in 2016 took its logo, purposely removed reflections, and made it all purple. Pepsi took their 3D photorealistic logo and toned it down to just a few lines. The list goes on and on. It's just the modern look, and 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 and, and that's that, and that's more like a fashion or a fad. It keeps coming, and new waves keep coming, and, and I think companies feed off each other also to some extent. That they say there's a trend going on in the marketplace that everybody is moving into this kind of a design. Here's the thing: what works for Apple doesn't necessarily work for everyone. Minimalist design worked for Apple because it sent a message. iPhones had become so commonplace and recognizable that Apple didn't need to trick us with buns that resemble real-world buns anymore. A clean design also has symbolism, showing that Apple was willing to put functionality and content at center stage instead of skeuomorphism serving as disingenuous makeup. See, Apple's switch to a minimalist design was a highly intentional decision. And the problem is, companies now are redesigning their logos in a minimalist way just for the sake of doing so. Look at the old Smucker's corporate logo. Smucker's brand has always been one of nostalgia and warmth, and that feeling is perfectly conveyed in their hand-drawn illustration that seems straight out of a 1900s picture book. Here's the new minimalist design. I hate this. How does this even fit with their brand identity? Nostalgia, which is their brand, has gone completely out the window. Or look at Gap's serif font. Authoritative, high-end, classy. What was the point here? Or even look at Lord & Taylor. While Apple is all about functionality, clothing stores like Lord & Taylor are all about ostentatious design, perfectly captured by this handwritten logo. Now they look like a budget store, no wonder they're bankrupt. There is no broad uh, reason why a company should do this or not. Uh, it, it is a decision made by the company in how they want to project the image of the company. So if a company decides that uh, we want to project the image of not a simplicity, but an image of if they want to project an image of high tech or they might want to do, use a different approach. It, so it really depends on what the company wants to do. Ultimately, there's a reason why companies such as Coca-Cola haven't changed their logos in more than a hundred years. Their logo conveys a message, and it conveys it well. Put simply, minimalism must be a conscious and rational choice, not the result of peer pressure. Minimalism is not universal, and we better stop treating it as such. <laughs>